Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. In this video, I'll take a look at our top five favorite espresso grinders of 2022. I'll cover their key features and help you decide which best fits your needs. Towards the end of the video, I'll have test results for all our picks for grinding speed, I'll show you the sound level so you'll get to hear them, and grind retention. For easy access, I've put a link down in the description that takes you right to a side-by-side -side comparison of our favorites with current pricing on all the grinders, key specs like burst size, power ratings, warranty information, verified owner ratings, and a lot more. Also in the description are links to individual videos on each of our favorites. I'll go through our selections in ascending current price order, and this video is chaptered so you can easily skip to a grinder of interest or to those test results. I'll start with a Eureka Mignon Facile, a no-frills value with the heart of Eureka's more expensive grinders. Then it's on to the Barazza Sete 270. Similar in price to the Facile, it offers fast and accurate time grinding, fluffy, plump-free grinds, and a bit more noise and plastic. The Chiato E5 Pro bumps up the burr size and build quality, straightforward commercial quality grinding at a very attractive price point. Then we go single dose with the Eureka Oro Mignon single dose grinder. Now that's one to look at if you're into high-end specialty coffees. And I'll wrap up with the big boy here, the Chiato E37S. It's got massive 83 millimeter burrs, serious build quality, and commercial rating going to make it one of the best grinders on the market. For the casual espresso drinker, the Eureka Mignon Facile is a well-built, entry-level, machine-grade grinder. Its grind quality is identical to other more expensive 50mm burr grinders in Eureka's Mignon class. It's a plain Jane unit with no timing functions. Press in with your portafilter and it grinds, release and it stops. Simple and easy, and that's no surprise as Facile translates to easy in Italian. The Facile is a whole latte love exclusive with the best features of their Mignon Silencio grinder, but without timed grinding, which helps keep the price down. It's a very good first espresso grinder with the same stepless micrometer grind size adjustment of its flat 50 millimeter hardened steel burrs. And it has Eureka's silent system used in their more expensive grinders. So quieter operation than most competing entry level machine grade grinders. Eureka's A system prevents clumps in ground coffee and controls static. Like other grinders in Eureka's Mignon line, the grind adjustment knob does not move the burrs, but turns a shaft in the motor which changes the position of the lower burr. This system allows for very precise grind size adjustment and it means the grind size setting is retained when the top burr plate is removed to allow access for cleaning the grinding chamber. The Mignon Facile gets five out of five stars in owner reviews. It has the desirable features of more expensive Eureka grinders. It's built well and a solid choice for pairing with premium entry level to mid-range machines. Coming in at a price similar to the Facile, the Barazza Sete 270 gives up a little in build quality to gain the timed grinding functions. And I love the fluffy, clump-free grind it produces. It's the only grinder in our list not manufactured in Italy. It's a grinder that's reasonable to use for other brew methods like drip and pour over. Grind size adjusts using two rings, a macro size ring with stops and a micro ring that's continuously variable. With that combo, you can quickly range from coarser grinding and back to extra fine with the precision of effectively stepless control needed for espresso. While other grinders in our list can go multi-purpose, it's more difficult to make large jumps in grind size accurately. Grinding at nearly four grams per second for espresso, the Sete is fast. In fact, about three times the speed of the Facile. But all that speed creates more noise with the straight through design of the grinding chamber. And the Sete, it's a top burr which spins and pulls in the beans. The other grinders in our list spin the bottom burr with gravity doing most of the feeding. While the other grinders all use flat burrs, it's an all-purpose conical burr in the Sete. Now, we do have an accessory burr, the S2 conical, available for those doing mostly coarser grinding, which reduces fines in coarser grinds. 
The Sete 270 has three timed grinding presets or can grind manually. If you can handle the noise and live with a little lower build quality, the Sete 270 produces an excellent, clump free, fluffy grind for espresso. For other brew methods, it comes with a large grind spin. I've used the Sete extensively, and it's another good pairing for premium entry level to mid range espresso machines. The Chiato E5 Pro steps up to larger flat 64 millimeter burrs and larger burrs, yeah, they produce a better, more consistent grind quality. In fact, it's the least expensive grinder we carry with a burr set over 60 millimeters. It's also a step up in build quality, making it the value priced entry into serious espresso grinding. Like the Facile, this is a 100% manual grinder with no timed grinding function. So if you weigh your doses with a scale or are a fill tamp and pull type, the E5 Pro is a quality and value choice to pair it with mid-range and higher espresso machines. Based on customer feedback, we worked with Chiato to create the E5 Pro, which is a whole latte love exclusive. The original E5 had a switch activated by portafilter spouts to start grinding. That made it difficult to use with bottomless portafilters. Our Pro version adds a pulse switch on the side, so grinding into bottomless portafilters or other containers is not going to be a problem. Grind size is stepless and adjusted using a large ring up top. Now, some users prefer the larger ring to the smaller adjustment knobs like you'll find on the Eureka grinders. The larger scale is more precise and makes it easier to return to a previous setting. Grind is virtually clumpless at espresso sizes and distributes well into portafilters. If you don't need extra features like time-based grinding, the Chiato E5 Pro offers commercial quality grinding and build quality at a very attractive price for home users. If you're an espresso geek using high-end specialty coffees, you probably have or should consider a single dosing grinder. The Eureka Oro Mignon single dose combines build quality, performance, and price like no other single dosing grinder available. Now there are a couple of slightly less expensive single dosing grinders out there, but some use conical burrs, don't have near the precision of grind size adjustment, grind much more slowly, and sacrifice some build quality. In the Oro, you have big 65 millimeter flat burrs with Eureka's diamond inside treatment. This patented process preserves burr sharpness longer with a rated lifespan of 3,000 pounds of grinding, well over standard burrs. If you go through a kilo of beans a week, they're good for more than 26 years. Now, taste is subjective, but there's a general preference for the clarity of flavor produced by flat burrs. In specialty coffees, it's going to be a little easier to identify unique flavors ground by high-quality flat burrs. There is a reason nearly every high-end espresso grinder uses flat burrs. Now, although focused on espresso, the Oro can grind for drip and other brew methods like pour over, and compared to a competing single dose grinder with conical burrs, users report fewer fines from the Oro at coarser grind sizes for a clearer cup that's not going to be muddy. If using for multiple brew methods, no, there will be some full turns of the adjustment to make the switch out of espresso, but compared to the competition, you'll have more precise control of grind in all ranges. Single dosing grinders should have near zero retention, put 18 grams of beans in, and you should get very close to 18 grams of ground coffee out. The Oro excels at that. I'll link to our full review video of the Oro with those tests and more down in the description. As you'll see in the test results in this video, all our grinders perform well in real world retention. The difference is the Oro is set up to single dose and doesn't need extra starting and stopping of the burrs to output within 0.1 grams of an 18 gram dose like some of our other grinders do. The Oro comes with the bellows for the blow up system, but in our retention test, neither that nor wetting beans known as RDT was needed to achieve near zero grind retention. Now, I should mention, since initial release, the Oro has seen improvements to its A system, which controls static and clumping. So if you run into any comments on extra retention, that very occasional issue has been resolved unless you're using the grinder improperly. 
As I mentioned earlier, bigger burrs equal higher grind quality, and at 83 millimeters, the biggest burr of our favorites are in the Chiado E37S. Now, I've used an awful lot of grinders, and I'm trying new ones all the time. For years, this has been my favorite. It's what I use in the studio when working with a new machine and want to take grind out of the equation as much as possible when doing evaluations. Its 500 watt motor is powerful, smooth and quiet. I've never had a problem grinding small, hard and light roasted beans. The quick set gear gives you super precise control of grind size. Chiato's steady lock system keeps burrs at a constant distance no matter if you're grinding your first shot or doing hundreds a day in a cafe. The E37S is NSF and ETL certified for commercial use, but if you're really serious about espresso, it's one of, if not the best, home espresso grinders on the market. It's an easy grinder to clean up. First, it doesn't make a mess. Distribution into a porta filter is fluffy, even, and clean. Unless you're overfilling by a lot, stray grinds into the catch tray are rare. Second, the entire upper burr plate, including the burr, removes with three screws as a single unit, and the burr adjustment threads are not exposed, so they can't get gunked up. If you've ever cleaned threads on a grinder, you know what a pain that can be. Taking this grinder apart for cleaning is as easy as it gets, and you don't lose grind setting when doing so. The responsive touchscreen display lets you program single, double, and triple shots, or you can grind manually. You can set up the grinder to use touchscreen selections and place your portafilter in place, or use taps of your portafilter to select your preset. An adjustable hook allows for hands-free operation with virtually any portafilter, including bottomless. Now, it's not unusual for espresso lovers to upgrade grinders over the years, but with the massive burrs, precise adjustment, easy cleaning, and decades-long service life, once you have the E37S, the upgrades are probably going to be over. We tested our favorites for grinding speed, grind retention, and noise level. Now, to establish a level playing field for grinding speed, Brian, here our newest member of the team, dialed in all the grinders to produce a 1 to 2 brew ratio, 18 grams in with about 36 grams out in 25 to 30 seconds. Shots were pulled on a Profitec Pro 600 using our own Crema Wave beans. To get speed in grams per second, we ran each grinder for five seconds and weighed. We repeated five times and averaged the results. For grind retention, we kept it simple. We ground out all the beans and cleared the discharge path out of the grinding chamber. Then loaded 18 grams of beans in and ran each grinder until no more coffee came out. We repeated the test five times and averaged those results. For noise level, we used an app on a smartphone placed about one foot from each grinder and noted the peak and average decibel level. Now, this is not a precise scientific test, but give you a relative idea of the noise level for the grinders. Before we get to all the results, here's a five second listen to each grinder with a microphone placed at the same distance. So here's a chart of all our results. As you heard, there's quite a difference in the sound level from these grinders. Quietus was a Chiato E37S at an average of 67 dB. Loudest, the Sete 270 at 85. The rest fell in between, but ran from 4 to 6 dB quieter than the Sete. For reference, each increase of 3 dB represents a doubling of the sound pressure level. So the Sete is about six times louder than the Chiato E37S and two to three times louder than the rest. Quite a range in grinding speed here. Slowest was the Eureka Facili at 1.34 grams per second. Fastest at 4.8 grams was the Chiato E37S. You know, those massive burrs, they really do make a difference. For retention, 
all the grinders were dosed with 18 grams and all put out 17.9 except for the Facile. Now keep in mind, retention can be measured in many ways. I could have opened each up and given it a thorough cleaning and results likely would have been different, but that does not reflect how most will use a grinder in the real world. Also, there was repeated starting and stopping of all the grinders except the Oro to get as much coffee out as possible. So those are our top five favorite espresso grinders of 2022. If you have questions on these or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you a detailed answer. And if you love coffee and espresso as much as I do, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'm Mark, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.